Hi there, welcome. Today I want to talk to you about slow feeder bowls for dogs and how they have been a game changer for us. So let's get started. So I use a variety of different tools to feed Mojo from, you know, Licky Max to Kongs or Vs and other different items. However, the main thing that we use to feed her while we are home is slow feeders and I have a variety of them in different shapes and sizes. A lot of them are actually round but they have different styles uh, inside uh, but here is a different shape. Uh, these actually are mostly from the brand um, Outward Hound. We really like the brand. This was actually the first feeder I got Mojo and then I realized that it was too big for her uh, but I do keep it because I dog sit larger dogs but most most of the ones that we use are these smaller ones which are not the smallest these are the medium sized ones and then we also have this one that we were gifted from the brand Boots and Barley which I think it's a Target brand if I'm not mistaken and we use it pretty often so yeah, so the slow feeders for us have been a game changer. I don't know if you have experienced your dog eating too fast and sometimes throwing up or just not feeling great after eating. When we adopted Mojo four years ago, we noticed that she, even though she's a very picky eater and won't eat just any tree or any, uh, you know, like type of kibble, like she's very particular, she does eat pretty fast. And that has caused her to throw up food because she's eating too fast. So after adopting her, we decided to right away get a slow feeder because we, we had seen really good reviews about them. My previous dog never needed one. He was a dog that just, uh, thankfully, <laughs> was a grazer. So you could actually leave food down and he would just eat throughout the day without any issue. But Mojo is not like that. And there are many dogs that are not like that and they eat super fast. So for us, the, the slow feeders have been kind of like a game changer. It not only allows my dog to eat slower it also allows her to really take her time and sometimes when she's really hungry she could eat this pretty quickly but it, there's times there's like 10 minutes have passed and she's still licking the bowls so it's really great um there are different sizes right for different dogs and i think definitely getting the right size for your dog makes the most sense we have used a big one for Mojo, but it's just too, too big. Like that does, that does not make sense, but she tends to like these a lot better. Uh, another pro, not only that it allows your dog to eat slower, another pro in my opinion is that it, it is an enrichment activity for them. It allows mental stimulation because they're not just eating out of this, you know, like something around where it's easily accessible. With these slow feeders, it really just makes them have a little bit more of like a challenge uh, to figure out how to get the food. Especially if you do food more like kibble and wet food or kibble and a broth or if you do veggies or fruits, allowing to like really put the stuff in here um, allows them to really kind of have to dig, dig in there for the food. Um, you can freeze these. I wouldn't recommend them freezing them for too long, but I have in the summer put broth in here, like a very small layer and freeze it and then put her kibble and her wet food and other things. And it has worked out for her because not only is she eating the food, then she has a little bit, you know, spend more time licking that frozen broth and it provides kind of like extra stimulation, but it also cools her down and things like that. So I really like these. Uh, similar to a licking mat that is silicone, like I said, you can freeze them. So it's not really a problem. Another thing is they are dishwasher safe. I personally, I do wash them in the dishwasher, but I personally prefer washing them by hand because of all these little different uh, designs. And also if you take a look at the back, there's just like the little holes and things like that. Sometimes with the dishwasher, um, it doesn't really get all the food off or if it does, sometimes it, you can tell that there's still soap remaining. So you definitely have to make sure that these are, if you're going to put them in the dishwasher, make sure they're really, really well rinsed afterwards and that they're really, really dry as well. You do not want to store this uh, wet because you can definitely uh, see mold if, if you do that. I accidentally one time 
put one away and I realized that I had not dried like the inside of these and a little mold was growing thankfully it was easy enough to clean um, quickly with like a small brush and that fixed it but that's when I noticed like washing them by hand and ensuring that they're dry is a big deal um, some of the cons to these I don't think there is a lot but I did find a few so one of the things that I'm personally not crazy about now is that they are plastic I do like them I do like them but now that I've seen a lot more plates being more like silicone I personally like the silicone better and I think we are going to move into getting her some silicone uh, bowls but in the meantime um, I'm not crazy about plastic I do like them I'm not gonna I just feel that there are better options than plastic you know uh, stainless steel bowls are in my opinion better but for the purposes of slow feeding I think these work great I kind of wish they were made out of a different material but it is what it is and these worked out pretty pretty well that's just a con for me because I would just rather not consume more plastic but it is what it is um, another con as I mentioned is ensuring that you have to have to have to dry them correctly and wash them correctly I feel like with bowls like these it's easy to tell if they're clean it's easy to tell if they're dry but especially with these uh, because they have you know like the bottoms like the different especially this one I feel like this is the best option to share compared to the other ones because this one just has like tiny spots like my finger barely fits in there so ensuring that you you do dry them I think it's like a, that extra step um, and another con which I don't think it's that big of a deal uh, but they're not as cheap as a regular bowl so they do range anywhere between like nine bucks to like 35 40 bucks that I've seen uh, you can definitely shop around for these I think uh, I think I'm pretty sure these two we got at TJ Maxx and they were only like nine dollars uh, but you know they they can range uh, from different prices and I know sometimes if you have more than one dog that could get expensive especially if you want to have a variety of them like we do I mean we don't even have that many but we technically do have uh, five uh, you know one for every day of the work week and then she could use uh, licky mats for the weekend but I mean yeah they, they do get expensive and they're also look at the like stacking them to put them away they do take a lot of room which it's not great but it is what it is if you want to have it you know for your dog uh, so I would say if you want to buy some and you don't want to spend a lot of money check out TJ Maxx or Home Goods. they tend to have these at really good prices and also Sippy Paws I haven't bought from them because we do have a variety of plates but they always have amazing sales and they have super cute um, shapes they actually have I think they have a pizza one and a flamingo one and an ice cream one I've been wanting to get the pizza one for Mojo but I just I just can't you know add another plastic plate <laughs> into her storage area we just don't have the room so we've been collecting licky mats instead but I really do think that these plates are a game changer mostly for those people that their dogs eat super super fast like you don't want to make your dog sick you want you definitely want them to slow down and enjoy the food uh, I highly would recommend a slow feeder any brand that you like I'm not gonna these have been great I obviously we buy a lot of stuff from out uh, what is it called out out hound outbound hound we have other you know other items from them they're they're a great brand but choose whatever you think is best that makes sense for your dog I would say just make sure you have the the right size and something that you like because it, you know it has to be fun in my opinion um, but yeah I am a fan of these they have been a game changer they have helped a lot with slowing down Mojo's eating uh, and definitely slowing the vomiting when dogs eat so fast uh, so these are great uh, highly recommend them I don't have any sponsor codes for you or or coupons to share 
Uh, these some of these plates are linked on our Amazon store if you're interested in like some of these uh, but if you don't necessarily have to go there you can really just Google on that you can either Google or on Amazon just like slow feeders for dogs and a bunch of them will come out there's other brands out there with really cool shape shapes and sizes so if your dog it's too fast i highly recommend you checking out slow feeder they even also now sell some that if you have these they sell silicone inserts for bowls that kind of mimic what a slow feeder would be i don't have any of those uh, those look really cool i kind of wish they had those before because uh, i feel like you would probably save room but again, we, we have what we have and we like to use what we have. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.